गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज द गैमिटोजेनेसिस इन ह्यूमन बींग गैमिटोजेनेसिस मीन्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गैमिट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जर्मिनल एपिथिलियम विच इज टू एन इन कंडीशन डिप्लोइड इन कंडीशन टू कन्वर्ट इन टू हेप्लोइड गैमिट बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ मियासिस एंड इट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व इन बोथ द केसेस this gametogenesis have a special role of fsh that is called follicular stimulating hormone and the gamete leave the primary sex organ after but uh, after puberty and puberty is the age of the uh, maturation when a uh, human being is in condition to reproduce so firstly we will have to discuss about the male gametogenesis that is called spermatogenesis spermatogenesis it means formation of sperm and we will discuss this spermatogenesis in two phases one that is called formation of spermatid formation of spermatids and secondly that is called spermiogenesis we will discuss it later on spermatogenesis also spermiation also but here we will discuss two that is formation of the spermatids and spermiogenesis formation of spermatids means germinal epithelium germinal epithelium it is diploid in nature to haploid gamet but they are still circular in nature now firstly we will discuss it how this particular uh, sperm uh, germinal epithelium convert into spermatids and spermiogenesis is the conversion of the spermatids which is circular in nature to spermatozoa which is which have a tail so we will discuss one by one what happens in this now first of all we will have to discuss that spermatids formation of spermatids what happens suppose it is germinal epithelium germinal epi thelium and fsh is present inside scrotum just you must know that the mammals in all mammals the testis is not present in a scrotum in all the times but in certain mammals only testis is present in the scrotum in breeding season in certain mammal it is still present inside the body cavity but in case of human being the testis is present inside scrotum throughout life after shifting of that particular from the body cavity to the scrotum through inguinal just like in, in case of a whale we will see that the scrotum is not there and the testis is still present inside the body in the case of llama and uh, bat the testis is shifted inside the scrotum at the time of reproduction only because they will reproduce once in a year and at the breeding time breeding season 
only testes will be shifted inside the scrotum. And whenever the testes will perform their work, that is the spermatogenesis, and the breeding season will be stopped, the testes will shift inside the abdominal cavity. But it will not happen in the case of human being. In the case of other individuals, primates and bull and others, others, the testis is still inside the scrotum and remains inside the scrotum. Now, what happens in testis? Whenever the FSH will be there and inhibin is not present here, then what happens? This germinal epithelium firstly divide my to T curly and this process is called multiplication this process is called multiplication and here 1 2 2 then again like this will be takes place and all are diploid in nature it means the number of the this type of will be increased but it is just going to convert into sperm so it is called primary spermatocyte see it is called primary spermatocyte there is certain difference between germinal and both are deployed so both are similar genetically but it is just going to convert into a sperm so it is called primary spermatocyte and this primary spermatocyte is also two types one is the A primary spermatocyte and another is the B primary spermatocyte A primary spermatocyte suppose 3 is the A spermatocyte it is called stem cell it is a reservoir it will convert into sperm in due course of time but the primary spermatocyte which is just going to start to divide it will involve in the meiosis that is called meiosis and meiosis first it has two and you know that the meiosis first is the reductional division meiosis first is the reductional division so this particular B type primary spermatocyte convert into secondary spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte now again meiosis second will take place and the two products are here two products are also here it is equational division So the haploid cell is converted into haploid cell but it is not called secondary spermatocyte but it is called spermatid. This one is called spermatid and it is stored inside the seminiferous tubules about uh, 74 hours. And after that, there is a morphological change start. It means that uh, circular spermatids is going to convert into a tailed spermatocyte. And that is called spermiogenesis. That is called spermio. Genesis, Genesis. You know that the these haploid spermatids have well developed nucleus, have mitochondria, have lysosome, mitochondria having nucleus having centriole
all these organelles will shift in a particular way to convert this particular spermatids into spermatozoa. What happens during just we have to study. Firstly, there is a shifting of the things here in the nucleus. Here, Golgi body and here is mitochondria. What happens? After shifting of this particular in this manner, there is a change like this. Here is nucleus, here is Golgi body, and here is mitochondria. Mitochondria. What happens? The shifting is like this. This one is the head having acrosome. And this acrosome have enzymes, they are responsible for the digestion of the outer covering of the ova. It is also called zona lysine. This one is the nuclear part. It is the nuclear part. And condition nucleus is still present inside the, it. But in body, this one is the body and uh, the body have, sorry, sorry. This is also called head. With the head you don't have acrosome as well as nucleus. And this one is the neck zone. This one is called neck zone having a centriole. And it is like this. Just I am drawing the figure. In this way. It is like this. And again, it will convert into T. Now, see here. The mitochondria is present here in a spiral manner. In spiral manner. And they provide energy for lashing of the tail. And a centriole is also present here. A centriole is also present here. It is called proximal centriole. This is called distal centriole. And this one is called ring centriole. It is called proximal centriole. Proximal centriole. It is called distal centriole. And this one is called a ring centriole. Actually, this centriole will help the division of the zygote. This particular control the activity of this particular body part. This one, this one is the body part. This one is the body part. And there is no Still, there is a need of the research that what is the function of this particular ring centriole. It is still unknown. This particular will be exited and go through it 
and the movement of this particular tail is controlled by the rod and the energy will be provided for this particular lasting movement is the mitochondria and there is no any nutrition takes place by this part. It is all about the structure of the sperm and spermiogenesis. That's all.